This is MVP, where entrepreneurs, inventors, and small businesses get one shot to pitch a panel of world championship athletes, Hall of Famers, and Olympians to be their next brand ambassador. Today's MVP lineup includes Rob Gronkowski, Super Bowl champion tight end for the New England Patriots. Antonio Brown, rated the number one wide receiver in the game today. Hall of Fame running back, Marshall Falk. NBA superstar, Rudy Gay of the Sacramento Kings. And helping our athletes negotiate their deals today is financial expert, Mark Patrickoff. It's time to find today's MVP. And with Chris Thompson, the CEO of Shrewbane, leveraging neurotechnology That's to right. disrupt the energy market. What does that mean? Well, it's more than energy. I mean, what we're doing as a brand is how can we get the best performance most consistently? So to have some big name athletes that are willing to come forward, that would be really big as a, as a proof point for customers. Awesome. Well, I wish you nothing but the best of luck. Go get them. I'll send you out to the MVPs. As professional athletes, you have discovered and exploited every possible advantage for the physical body. Not as much has been done for the mental game. That's where True Brain comes in. So you guys all know what it feels like to be in the zone, right? Unstoppable. The crowd quiets down, everything kind of tunnels in, and you can do no wrong. I think back to Michael Jordan in that famous playoff game where he was shrugging. Every shot he took, every move he made was working out. And he was shrugging because he didn't know how to explain how even he could play that well. Well, neuroscientists now do know what that is. With the latest in neurotechnology, you can actually measure the brainwaves behind what it means to be in the zone. So the formula that we have in this brain food was born from using neurotechnology to examine high performers for a number of years and what determines their best days and their worst days and we put that into these one ounce drinks. There's no magical shortcuts, as we all know, but a slight increase in your mental game can make a huge gain in translating all your physical training to the key moments. What are the ingredients? It's driven by seven main ingredients. They're either amino acids, peptides, or amino acid derivatives. So it's all protein chains and they actually play a part in the underlying metabolism of your brain. So when you're thinking a lot and stressed, you're actually metabolizing resources in the brain and you need to replenish those. These are ingredients that have been ignored for quite some time by big companies. You can't patent them, they're very difficult to formulate. They're activated peptides that we figured out the formula, packaged it, and we figured out the right mix of all the ingredients that work together the best. This seems like a lot of research. Um, what brought you to this point? What made you wanna make this, this product? I've been training in athletics all my life. Early on, I got really interested in all the measurements that you could do with you know, heart rate and you know, your cadence if I was out cycling. And I figured, why can't we measure the same things about the brain and figure out how to optimize those? So this isn't just gonna help our mental focus, it'll help our physical focus too. Like right, I mean, because the two are really you know, intertwined quite a bit. There's a lot of interesting things that we can do where we have you on a two hour cardio workout and then we test how your mental game is. And if we can make that a little stronger, that's where we think we can make the gains to really take your physical training and increase that a little bit through the mental side. We have these helmets. They have 24 channels of reading where we can read all the electrical activity in your brain and see how your training, your sleep, your diet, your meditation, including our brain food, are actually playing into gains on the field. If I wear that thing and drink that, I'm gonna be dunking on Rudy. All of a sudden, I'm gonna be in the NBA too. Rudy will be playing football. You probably can do that, Grunt. <laughs> you take the product, it raises your levels. If you stop taking the product, your levels go back down. They slowly go back to your baseline. So if you believe that your levels are raised, you think you need this for life? Yes. You're stuck in the sense of if you want that performance level. Who does it? I mean, <laughs> who's like, you know what? I want to be dumber today. <laughs> so essentially it's a performance enhancer. Yeah. So what do you do? You got to like, take one, one package a day for X amount of weeks, and then that's when you start feeling the difference? Everybody's a little different, but we like to say, you know, between five to seven days of consistent use, you'll start to notice the beginnings of the effects. How much fact can you provide to them about 
the efficacy of this. I mean, a lot of the individual ingredients that we've put in here already are backed by clinical studies out there um, individually for ingredients. What we're holding ourselves up to is saying this exact mix is going to do these certain things. We're finishing up a trial now. We're going to be able to show how our brainwaves uh, are impacted by this. And by the way, that's taking it much further than Red Bull ever did. You know, nobody really asked Red Bull to say, you know, show me the proof that... That Red Bull give you wings? Right, yeah, show me the clinical proof. <laughs> we don't proof. talk about Red Bull around here. <laughs> we got monster energy in the house. Oh, man. <laughs> so I'm guessing you probably test a whole bunch of different kind of people, right? Right, there's testing ongoing right now. All different age ranges? Yep. Can I try one? Yeah, sure. Which one makes you the smartest? Because he needs it. <laughs> I'm at genius level, can you help me? Yeah, yeah, we need it. I don't think it'll work. It's called Turbo. <laughs> Does it taste good? It's taste is a challenge, because um, the formula is pretty bitter. If it doesn't taste good, that means it's, it's that's usually good for you. If it tastes too good, that usually means it doesn't work because there's nothing active in there that's doing something powerful. You don't have that problem. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you, it would be hard for me to finish this. It's not bad, but not great. You mix it with like a, a sports drink, it might be fine. Yeah. yeah, a lot of people will put it in water or tea or coffee or shakes. What's next for your company? Today we're talking about trying to get some validation. And it's a new product and this is a relatively new format. So we're really interested in somebody who's gonna provide a successful case study and actually improve their, their game. This is a couple thousand dollars worth of services that are embedded in this, that what we wanna do with this partnership where you guys can actually improve your own game and we can learn a lot about your custom um, brainwave outputs. You now are selling a subscription model, which I right, understand. Right, online only. Right. So what's the price point? There's various price points for you know 20 or 30 drinks per month. Um, and then we also have a addition that goes right into coffee um, with our brewed product here as well. So they're at varying price points, starting at 49 up to 65 and even 125 yes. a month. So you're gonna make about $400 a year from somebody if they're all in? Yeah, yeah. revenue and then we have you know our gross margins. Minus your acquisition costs and your product costs. I right, 50% margins rough. So you pitch on the box, Grunk. Yeah, because I'm so smart and everyone thinks I'm so smart out there that I take this and just become a genius. Everyone will be wondering what I did. They don't understand how hard it is to move around and do what you do. That's why I trick them. <laughs> <laughs> and then if I have double, oh man, watch out. <laughs> How many a day do you take? Usually two. I only took one, let me get another. For body weight, you might need to go three. Let me get the orange one. Turbo's XL. Dude, so. Dude there ain't no such thing as extra being strength. too smart. That's extra strength. And having too much energy. <laughs> and being too sharp. <laughs> Give me one of those two, man. <laughs> I think Rudy needs like five. He hasn't talked yet. <laughs> Good, man. You just you can't play around with it, man. You just got Yeah, you gotta go one go. Can you tell us what you're thinking about in terms of an offer? We were thinking uh, in the 3% range, we'd like at least one lead athlete to wear the helmets, get that baseline brainwave measured, and do custom pressure tests that you guys want to do, specific to your sport or specific to your challenges, then put you on our regimen of brain food, see how you're impacted, and then be able to package that and communicate that to you know, customers, investors, and in our community. You have to wear that X-Man thing, right? It looks like more of a full helmet in the real the real center. So to summarize the offer, 3%. And how much do you think 3% is gonna be worth two years from now? I think we're looking to be at least a $100 million brand. Wow. And we think we can be even bigger. This formula is fundamentally different than just an energy drink or a caffeine, an alertness agent. And we think that is a huge space um, for investment. What do you wanna do? As much as I put into learning what I did, helping other guys out, teaching the game of football while playing the game of football, this would have been a great product for me to have my face on. Now, as a retired athlete who's sitting in a chair and second guess everything everybody does, <laughs> I don't see how I could help you uh, push the brand. I'm gonna have to, uh, to pass on the offer. Okay, yeah, yeah. thanks. You should probably head towards more of a player like my quarterback. He's out there in the public knowing that he eats super healthy every day. My image is kind of like, you know, I'm out there going crazy. I'm doing this. <laughs> I'm doing that. I'm not sure if you really want to put my face on that box and boom, we're going to hit it off. I like where you're going, but I'm just going to have to pass in this one. Okay. Yeah, no, that makes sense. So, Rudy, the thing about being, playing sports is people don't understand is 90% of it is mental. And, you know, a lot of what we do has a lot of game plans behind it. People don't see that. 
but we do plan a lot on what we're doing in the game. I think it's a great idea. I do want to try it out. Let's see what it does for you. Let's get you in and you know, we'll do the measurements and see how your comfort level is. Thanks, Chris. Thanks a lot. I'm your man. <laughs> Chris, how do you think that went? Well, I mean, we're really excited to have Rudy. I think, you know, it's a difficult ask. We're asking a lot of them. We're asking them, it's sort of private, right? Reading their brainwaves and everything. But for him to step up, I think we're really excited about it and, and getting it started. All right, well, congratulations. It's exciting stuff.